एवरीवन वेलकम टू ग्लूटेन फ्री गिल्ट फ्री आफ्टर माय सुपर हिट ग्लूटेन फ्री गार्लिक नान रेसिपी आई एम बैक विथ अनादर इंडियन फ्लैट ब्रेड रेसिपी दिस टाइम इट इज ग्लूटेन फ्री लच्छा पराठा फॉर यू इट इज जस्ट हाउ यू गेट इन रेस्टोरेंट एंड इट इज वेरी हार्ड टू बिलीव इट इज ग्लूटेन फ्री इट इज एक्स्ट्रा फ्लैकी एंड विथ बटरी लेयर्स एंड इट इज quite simple with just two ingredients that is your gluten free flour all purpose flour and some butter it is crispy from outside and it is also soft and tender i will show you the layers how nice layers it has so do you want to try this let's start cooking first in a mixing bowl add gluten free all purpose flour i'm using bob's red mill One to one. Then add some salt and knead to form a soft dough with hot water, little by little at a time. You can also use stand mixer to knead this dough. Just mix it until all the ingredients come together, and add water little by little at a time. And here is my first quick tip. the dough should be stiff up and not loose otherwise you won't get get those nice layers to your paratha so here you can see i am also checking with hands and kneading with my hands so that all the ingredients come together now transfer the dough to a flat surface and knead for almost about 5 to 6 minutes until it becomes smooth so you can see how i'm kneading it with my with the help of my palms i'm just pressing it against the flat surface and you can see nice stiff and smooth dough has formed and this is the consistency that we will need now second quick tip here do not uh, let the dough to rest and keep it covered all the time when you are not using it and then divide the dough in equal parts take one dough ball slightly dip in water just slightly and again knead it on the flat surface and make a flat ball a round shape lightly dust the floor and just flatten the ball and now it is time to roll this to form a thin disc about 5 to 6 inch and make sure that it is not breaking the edges are not breaking and it is crack free if you are not pro in making roti you can make a square or rectangle that is also fine then it is time to apply butter melted butter on top of the round shape nicely brush it evenly and generously and then sprinkle little gluten free flour on top so same bob's red mill flour i'm just sprinkling and then the next important step making pleats fold the round disc like we roll a fan or like a pleat so carefully look at the video here you can see the fan or pleats are ready now make a pin wheel with a pleated dough and tuck the end at bottom do not roll too tight or too loose here you can see the pin wheel is ready how beautiful it is looking so we will keep this in refrigerator for about 10 to 15 minutes to set here is the second method how you can make the layers or folds so same method you have to just roll the dough ball make a thin disc as we have done previously so all the steps still there it is same only difference is how we make the folds So here my thin disk is ready. 
Now I'm applying butter on top, sprinkling some gluten-free flour and just give cuts how I'm showing here, straight cuts. So there will be different strips. We need different strips but make sure that you are not um, disturbing the structure of this disc. Keep it same. Here you can see the strips are ready. I will show you the thickness and the width of the strip. One of the strip. Yeah, here you can see this is the thickness and width. Yeah. So now gather all the strips as I'm doing. Yes, like this, collect all the strips, make a line and make a pinwheel, how we made for the first option, same like that. So you can use any of this method, either this one or the first one. Tuck this at the bottom and here your pinwheel is ready. Keep this in refrigerator to set for 10 to 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, our dough is set. Do not keep it more than 15 minutes, otherwise the gluten-free flour or the dough will be dry. Because it doesn't have gluten, so it tends to become very dry and it would be unmanageable. So. Dust the floor first and roll this pinwheel yeah, to make a thin disc. I will show you the thickness also. Use a floor as and when required but do not use more floor otherwise the texture of the paratha will change. Make a round shape. You can already see the layers inside. This lacha varadha is ready to put on tawa. So just apply some water at the bottom and put on hot griddle or tawa. Do not use non-stick pan to cook and keep the heat medium to high. Once the paratha start bubbling and dough start drying, turn the tawa over flames keeping about 2 inch away from the flames to cook the naan from top and this is required because we are not using tandoor. In case your paratha is not sticking to the tawa and it is falling again then you can simply apply some water at the bottom and again stick that paratha to the tawa or else you can just roast on this flame. And if you do not have the burner like I have, you just simply cook on the white only. But in that case, you won't get those nice layers. Wow, this paratha has got so many layers to it. It is not cooked from the bottom, so I am directly cooking it on the burner on high flame so that we will get that tandoori smell and taste. To it so here you can see from the bottom and now apply some butter on this hot hot lacha paratha on top oh those layers they are so beautiful so here some melted butter going on top spoonful of butter yummy yummy i can't wait to eat this paratha it tastes very good when it is hot and serve this hot with any of your favorite curry like paneer butter masala. Now I will show you the second method with which we made this pinwheel. So just roll it just how we did for the first one. This is a bit breaking. If it is breaking, we have to just seal it with our thumb. It needs a bit of practice but it is worth doing.
same thing i have applied some water on bottom now that is started bubbling and i am roasting it on the high flame so here also we can see there are some layers but they are not that visible so what we are going to do now see yeah so just crush it in your hands can you hear that crunchy sound it is hot but yes wow and this nice paratha is ready to serve you can also make pudina on masala lachha paratha just sprinkle some masala on it and relish this yummy delicious and awesome lachha paratha with your favorite curry do try out this recipe thank you for watching this video do like share and comment if you like this recipe and keep watching gluten free guilt free bye bye for now happy cooking